I'm Tyler Reed, the Manufacturing Specialist here at Go Engineer. And this quick tip video is going to cover how to save and then read in an STL file as your stock material inside CamWorks. Using an STL file as your stock material is going to allow you to read in a very complex shape and use that as your starting point for your CNC programming. This is very commonly used when you're programming a secondary operation on a part or if you're doing some finished machining on a cast part. In this particular example, I programmed only the corner round features while creating a quick tip video to show how to program those features. This allowed me to create the programming very quickly, but it made it more difficult for me to verify that the programming was complete and accurate. After running through the simulation, when I run a comparison, I can see that I'm overcut or undercut in certain areas, but I can't tell with 100% certainty if I'm cutting these corner rounds to size. This is a good example of when I might take the time to read in a more complex starting shape for my stock. To do this is very simple. I'm going to go over to the SolidWorks feature tree and I'm actually just going to suppress the fillets. This is the starting shape that I want. I'm going to save that as an STL file. File save as. I'm going to change the save as type to STL. When I change the save as type this option button appears. You're going to want to go into this at least for the first time you do this. The most important option that you're concerned about here is this checkbox that states do not translate STL output data to positive space. Check that. Go ahead and hit OK and then save. SolidWorks will save an STL file. Now go ahead and unsuppress the features that we suppressed before. We're going to jump back over to CamWorks. It's going to give me a warning about the SolidWorks file changing. It's no problem. Do a light rebuild. Now we're going to go into the stock manager and here we're going to select this option here, read in an STL file. I'm going to browse to the file I just saved. Take a look at the preview of the stock. It looks a little bit more accurate here. And now when I run a simulation, notice the starting shape. This is the shape I just saved. And when I run a simulation and then a verification, I'm going to get a much clearer picture of my CNC programming accuracy and completeness. The saving and reading in an, of an STL file is going to allow you to verify your programming simpler, and it's pretty quick and easy. If you have any questions about what you saw, let us know.